He's a hero for some Palestinians and one of Israel's fiercest enemies. But who was behind the assassination of Fatahi Shagaki? In 1981, Fatahi Shagaki established Islamic Jihad, a resistance movement to the Israeli occupation. In 1986, he was jailed but later released and deported to Lebanon, where he was allegedly in touch with Hezbollah. 1989, Shikaki moved to Syria and lived as a guest of then-president Hafiz al-Assad in Damascus. 1995, Shikaki pulled off a major suicide attack. On the 22nd of January at Beitli Junction between Tel Aviv and Haifa, two suicide attackers disguised as Israeli soldiers detonated their bombs, killing 21 soldiers. He called in the chief of the Mossad and ordered Fatri Shkaki to be killed immediately. But it was difficult for Israel's intelligence service Mossad to kill Shkaki in Syria. On October 4th, Shkaki traveled to Libya via Malta to meet President Muammar Gaddafi. Three weeks later, Shkaki returned to Malta, but he had company. After booking his return ticket to Damascus, he was gunned down by two men on a motorcycle, leaving him dead on the street. The assassins were taking aboard a, a rubber boat and then to an, an Israeli submarine and sailed back to, to Israel. There were Maltese police reports that Libyan intelligence may have tipped off Mossad about Shikaki's movements. But, like other Arabs and Palestinians, was Shikaki another victim of Mossad's extrajudicial killings? 